sotto alla varamura, la sarrampa che giura, e gli astemma riguarda, e serate senza pane, e intanto cuore aspetta, sarà pane fontana, e chiama in capo e creatura. It's late in the evening She's wondering what clothes to wear She puts on her makeup And brushes her long blonde hair And then she asks me Do I look alright? And I say That you just don't realize how much I love you.
As I turn and out the light, darling, just I like to know that there's your mind. I say, my darling, you look wonderful tonight. I say, my darling, you were wonderful tonight.
Se qua in America le di del Pacifico scoprono la sua immensità, le mie mani stringono sogni lontanissimi e il mio pensiero corre da te. Sull'oceano, onde sull'oceano che dolcemente si placerà. Le mie mani stringono sogni lontanissimi e il tuo respiro soffia su me. Maybe I've been treating you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I've been loving you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said to them. You want the other side? I just never took the time. 
If I made you feel second best Girl, I'm sorry I was blind Cause you were always on my mind You were always on my mind Tell Your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Toro University Nevada White Coat Ceremony. As we begin our ceremony, we ask each of you to show your respect for our students and their families by turning off all cell phones and by taking children outside should they become disruptive. We are asking for everyone's assistance in creating a safe celebration by keeping your mask on for the entirety of the ceremony. It is also important that we all practice social distancing while here in the arena. For your convenience, photographs are being taken by a professional photographer during the ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Ms. Shelley Berkeley, Chief Executive Officer and Senior Provost of Turo University Western Division. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you tonight to an experience of a most wonderful tradition, the White Coat Ceremony. The ceremony has been a part of campus tradition since our establishment in 2004. I am honored to congratulate the students in the College of Osteopathic Medicine, the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine classes of 2024 and 2025. <laughs> Would everyone please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Basic Academy Marine Corps Junior ROTC, the singing of the national anthem by Toro's own in tune, and the invocation by our own Rabbi Zachariah Rubin. Will the Junior ROTC please present the colors? stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air came through through the night that our flag was still there oh say
You may be seated. Good evening. It is a pleasure to be here to celebrate with you during the educational and professional journey for these fine students. As they continue on the road to become physicians, they are accepting the responsibilities and covenants of faithful healers. From this point, they carry forward not only the professional oath and ethical principles of the healthcare profession, but also the commitment to social justice and responsibility integral to the Jewish tradition and central to the mission of Turo University, Nevada. While wearing the white coat is a great responsibility, it should also bring a tremendous sense of joy. The care, kindness, and leadership these students will bring to all they serve are truly mitzvos, great blessings for our families and our communities. I will now recite the Berchas Koanim, known as the Priestly Blessing, and wish you joy and success in your careers and all of the journeys life sets before you. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. May the Lord bless you and guard you. Yoyer Adonai ponav elecha v'yichunecha. May the Lord shine his countenance toward you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai ponav elecha v'yosem lecha shalom. May the Lord lift, lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. To all of today's students, it is a pleasure to bless you and the work you are committing to in the name of a better society. Thank you, Rabbi Rubin. Turo University, Nevada is a Jewish-sponsored institution of higher learning. Rabbi Rubin provides support for us in a variety of ways, and we're grateful for his work throughout the university community. Please join me in thanking the Basic Academy Marine Corps Junior ROTC Honor Guard. and our a cappella group known as Intune. Intune is made up of Turo University Nevada students who share a love of music. These students give back to our community by sharing their musical talent at a variety of campus and community events. And after a year and a half of not being able to perform or hear from them, it was a pleasure to welcome them back to the stage. It's wonderful to have so many friends and family members with us today to witness this unique and special occasion which signifies an important milestone in the professional education of our talented students. A little over a year ago, it would have been unfathomable for any of us to predict that we would all be quarantined due to a worldwide pandemic. The students who began their program in the fall of 2020 were unable to celebrate receiving their white coats due to the pandemic. We're so pleased to be able to have last year's students who are now in their second year of their program, along with this year's newest students, all in one place to celebrate this momentous occasion. Since the beginning of the pandemic, our Turo students, including many of those that are here today, stepped up without hesitation to meet the needs of our community. I am so incredibly proud when I think of the ways the Turo Nevada family came together during the pandemic. Our students donned masks and scrubs and provided hundreds of free COVID-19 screenings to the most vulnerable people in our community, day after day going down to Cashman Field to help those that were unable to help themselves. Since the rollout of the vaccines, our students and faculty have been leading the charge by administering more than 21,000 COVID-19 vaccines across Southern Nevada.
Because of these invaluable experiences, our students can honestly say that they played a critical role in helping to save lives during this pandemic. The acts of courage and selflessness displayed over this challenging year gives me so much hope for our future, and I want to take this time to personally thank our students and faculty for their efforts on behalf of the rest of us. You may have observed that members of the platform party are wearing white coats. We do so in solidarity with and to honor our students who will be receiving their white coats today at our ceremony. We are here with you at this important juncture of your professional journey, and we shall be here at the end of your journey to congratulate you when you walk across the stage and receive your diplomas at commencement. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the members of the platform committee. I ask that the audience please hold your applause until the entire platform committee has been introduced. And platform members, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. And may I say, before I start the introductions, I have attended many white coat ceremonies over the course of my career, and I can say I cannot possibly fathom a more enthusiastic group than we have today. Congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. <laughs> rabbi Rubin, University Rabbi. Dr. Andrew Priest, Provost. Dr. Wolfgang Gilliard, Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Philip Tompkins, Dean, Division of Student Affairs. Dr. Laura Yavitz, Vice Provost and Associate Vice President for Institutional Effectiveness. Dr. Derek Meeks, Vice Dean. Dr. Terry Miller, Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Dr. David Skyba, Assistant Dean for Curriculum. Dr. Bondarenko, Professor and Director of the Medical Health Sciences. Dr. Emmett Finley, Chair of Basic Sciences. Dr. Paul Kalisis, Chair of Primary Care. Dr. Paul Rennie, Chair of the Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine. Our student speaker, student Dr. Jose Para, DO, Class of 2023. And our announcers for today's ceremony, Ms. Melissa Motes and Mr. Chad Letts. Also participating in today's ceremony will be the following faculty members. Please stand when your names are called. Dr. Bradley Havens, Primary Care. Dr. Shannon McKenna, Primary Care. Dr. Matthew Martin, Primary Care. Dr. Darlena Manthe, Primary Care. Dr. Sophia Johnson, Primary Care. Dr. Mark, uh, Michael Olick, Specialty Medicine. Dr. Miat, Specialty Medicine. Dr. Julie Zacharias Simpson, Specialty Medicine. Dr. Rakesh Singh, Basic Sciences. Dr. Kimberly Congdon, Basic Sciences. Dr. Amy Stone, Basic Sciences. Dr. Terry Else, Basic Sciences. Dr. Lorico, Basic Sciences and Research. Dr. Eric Toder, OMM. Dr. Kimberly McGinn, OMM. Dr. Robert Baker, OMM. Let's give each one of these faculty and administrators a hearty applause. You may all be seated. UNLV's, <laughs> I'm here at UNLV, and a proud graduate of. TUN's academic leadership is provided by our university provost, Dr. Andrew Priest. Please welcome Dr. Priest to the podium. Good afternoon. When any one of us takes on the role of a professional health care provider, as symbolized by the white coat you accept today, we accept the responsibility to become 
act and work as a compassionate, knowledgeable, and competent clinician. There are three critical elements that I'm going to borrow from the 4-H club to becoming an excellent clinician. The first is your head. You've got to have the determination and the capacity to understand the theories, concepts, and facts that you absolutely have to know. Second is your hands. You will use your hands to physically examine, treat, and comfort your patients. Good use of your hands is a skill that can be developed. Take the time to learn how to use your hands wisely and effectively. Third is your heart. Your patients need to ha you to have a heart. Compassion and empathy will go a long way with your patients in developing trust in you as their health care provider. While learning your craft, remember to develop your head, your hands, and your heart. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Priest, for your heartwarming comments. Now we will hear from the academic dean who will share a few remarks. I'd like to welcome Dr. Wolfgang Gilliar, Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Good evening. Good evening. All right, we can do better than that. All right, good evening. All right, there we go. Before I'm going to give my reflections or remarks, I want to share some good news. Uh, while things were a bit chaotic in the tunnel, um, these good news reached me by one of the trusted and respected staff members who approached me and said the following, and I asked her to actually dictate it on my phone. She said, I just want to compliment the students how the calm students have been so professional today. I really appreciate your patients or their patients. You as students have maintained your cool and you have been absolutely wonderful. Congratulations, I'd like to give yourselves a round of applause. So let me add this, if things really go bad or south down the road, remember, there was one time, a moment where you were really good. <laughs> so before, my real thing to it is, I would like our students to do one thing. You wouldn't be here without your parents, your spouses, your loved ones. And I think it's time that you give them a round of applause that's so loud that we can't even take it down. And, and as parents, now we return and give you a thou round of applause to the ones that you love. <laughs> there you go. All right. Nobody, nobody wears your coat like you will be wearing it. The white coat, this sea of white coats in front of you will protect you. This ceremony today is one of deep symbolism, both individually and collectively. And this is a new beginning. At the same time, it is an end, as you no longer will be who you are and who you were before. The college days and your worries about a GPA and MCAT scores are over. You are here now, congratulations. And just in case you have not noticed it yet, ah, a different number of tests and scores are replacing the GPA and MCAT. Call them boards or something. But those new tests really matter little when compared to the real tests called patients. In my entire career, I have never seen a patient who came to the emergency room with an evolving heart attack who would ask the doctor about the doctor's board score. 
Mat what matters is that the doctor or therapist or nurse knows what to do and how to do it right at that very moment. It is literally like being on stage. GPA and board scores are, in my opinion, two-dimensional. You're becoming the health professional that you are meant to be. That's what I call living the three-dimensional facilitator and healer that you will be in that white coat. Now, please take full advantage of that white coat. It is so much more than a piece of fitted ordinary cloth. Just as the canvas on which 50 white stars are, fi are affixed onto a blue black ground and 13 stripes that are arranged to meld together in order to form the flag of the United States, it is the entrusted powers and human conditions that are projected onto you and emanate from your white coat. Your white coat is not a stiff, inanimate piece of garment that serves as a barrier, trying to keep out the bad and ugly and that bloody stuff of life. It is indeed a breathing membrane through which emotions can be originated from your colleagues, from the PA, the physicians, therapists, or nurses, everyone who communicates with you and with the patient and vice versa. Please breathe much life into your white coats so that they will carry you just enough off the ground so you can run as fast and as lightly as your duties call for it. That you will be wearing it with respect over arrogance, with joy over sadness, with careful listening over rapid, oh, I know it, talk, with true understanding over superficial preoccupation and always ready to go that extra mile, the extra hour, the extra thought, and the extra touch. Bring that coat to life, your crisp white coat. There is no other coat like yours. Make it yours and own it. Patients will read your white coat as they read you. And there is no better way to express your personality than wearing a crisp, fitting, and fresh white coat that tells your patient the following. I am ready. I am here for you. Let's walk a bit together. Respect your coat and it will respect you. In the end, it's all about respect and caring. Respect and caring. Nobody wears your coat like you will be wearing yours. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gillier, for those tru truly cherished words. I would now like to introduce our student speaker. Student Dr. Jose Para is a member of the class of 2023 and current national chair of the Council of Osteopathic Student Government Presidents, a graduate of Northern Arizona University. Jose is a first generation college graduate and the first in his family to pursue medicine as a career. Since completing Toro's health science program. Jose is now in his third year of his DO program. As last year's Student Association President, it is our honor to have Jose with us today to address the first and second year classes. Jose, would you please join me at the podium? Hello everyone, so go ahead and take a nice big deep breath in and out. I know you've had a long day of check-in. Family, friends, thank you for being here. Good evening, it really is an honor and privilege to be speaking with all of you today. 
and to be able to celebrate alongside you the classes of 2024 and 2025 as you're receiving your white coats. A symbolic beginning to a lifetime of service and humanity. Now I know what you're thinking. Here we go again with the speech that we've heard a thousand times over. I get it, really. I was once in your shoes. But I do challenge you to actually take this moment and truly allow yourself to embrace every second of it. I know that as medical students, we're constantly worrying about the next obstacle in our quest to become physicians, but we often fail at realizing that this very moment is exactly what we hoped and wished for as pre-meds not too long ago, and that deserves to be celebrated. Take a moment right now and turn and face your colleague on the left, now to your right, and cherish that as this will forever be engraved in your memory because I know it is for me. As you walk across the stage today and hear your name called to receive your white coat, I want you to remember your why. Take a moment, think about it. Why did you choose to embark on this journey? Let that come to your mind. I say this to you because as I stand here today and reminisce on my own journey, it is my why that has helped carry me over the rough patches that I promise you will all undoubtedly face just like I did. On the days where you do not do as well on an exam as you thought, on the days where you feel like you don't belong in medicine, which you do, by the way, or you would not be here, and on the days where no matter how hard we try, we did everything we could and could not save our patient, hold on to your why. It's an absolute privilege to be able to practice medicine, for our patients to trust that we're doing everything we can to help them to continue living their best lives, and for us to honor that by working hard to be the best future physicians that we can be. That is what your white coat symbolizes. Yes, you're also going to look great in it, and I can't wait to see your pictures on Instagram later, but it is the embodiment of your commitment to helping others heal. I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by Hippocrates, and it says, wherever the art of medicine is loved, there's also a love for humanity. Thank you so much, and congratulations on this incredible milestone in your journey. Thank you so much for those lovely words. You've been a wonderful student leader to work with over the past years, Jose, and I know that as national chair, you are representing TUN very, very well. Before I bring Dr. Gilliar back up for the presentation of the White Coats, I'd like to say a few words to our students that are here today. I could not be more proud of you if you were my own children. I know how difficult it is to get into Toro. We had 4,200 applications for the 180 students that we accepted. It is a challenge, but each and every one of you succeeded in that challenge. I know that our curriculum is very rigorous and vigorous, but you are here. You have been selected because we knew you were up for the task. You are the best and brightest among us. And I am so not only proud of each and every one of you, I am so grateful that you chose Toro, Nevada for your studies. We will do everything we can to make you the best possible doctor that you can be. And we thank you for not only choosing Toro, but choosing the study of medicine. Congratulations to each and every one of you today. And now it is time for the presentation of the White Coats. Please help me welcome back Dr. Wolfgang Gilliar. I am pleased to present the white coats to our medical students, and we will begin with the class of 2024. Will the osteopathic medicine 2024 students please stand and make your way to the stage? Drs. Paul Rennie, Robert Baker, Kimberly McGinn, Rakesh Singh, Julie Zacharias Simpson, 
Aurelio Miot, Sophia Johnson, Sharon McKenna, you will assist with the coding process symbolizing the academic preparation of the student and the training received during the clinical rotation experiences. David Abram. Hiram Allman. Maniba Ahmed. Timothy On. Zaid Alazawi. Mark Abuso. Daniel Argyle. Abiha Ashray. Danielle Bailey. Anissa Azad. Dustin Bannigan. Diana Balsalobre. Jody Bosson. Alexandria Bartlett. Ryan Becker. Jaden Burson. Luke Belmore. Matthew Belin. Gertaj Bindra. Vani Bardwaj. Diana Boyrazian. Cameron Bondi. Jeffrey Brieger. Jonathan Bradshaw. Trevor Campbell. Ann Bowie. Henry Sharon. Christine Castillo. Michelle Chu. Jennifer Choi. Angelica Mayko. Zachary Chua. Mia Celeste De Leon. Nathan Cottle. Angela De La Cruz. Adriel De Leon. Harjat Daliwal. Vivek Desai. Stephen Doe. Ponit Dillon. Andrew Dongo. Jessica Doan. Walid Eliwat. 
Christina Duong. Jacob Everett. Joshua Eredix. Paul Gentle the Second. Joshua Finley. Rachel Ann Gassetta. Ingrid Gao. Swarnima Gamire. Priyanka Gotti. Brandon Geiler. Rochelle Gibbert. Tina Gutashvili. William Giovinazzo. One Bingo. Jordan Glassman. Lainey Grant. Kayla Grady. Nicole Gazolek. Auden Haifman. Kylie Haig. Alan Hamblin. Amir Harb. Charles Herndon. Sean Hingarani. Christy Huynh. Lena Huang. Garrett Johnson. Parker Jadwin. James Cal. Mireille Cato. Alexander Koo. Minji Kim. David Kimball. Michelle Kleitch. Victoria Krutikova. Hannah Calm. Kevin Lee. Andrew Lee. Calvin Lee. Edmund Lemon. Kaya Likens Morgan. Aaron Levin Fay. William Lopez. Angelica May Lilligan. Bang Luong. Steve Lu. 
Madeline Ray Mahillo. Tristan Liu. Nagisa Matsumoto. Miriam Mala. Muhammad Memon. Ginger McNamara. Vanessa Milan. Laura Mendoza. Dion Mahajer. Christina Nama Minami. <laughs> On Nguyen. Daniel Morales. David Nguyen. Sahar Nadim. Eric T. Nguyen. Stephen Ahn. May Nguyen. Calvin Wynn. Michael Nguyen. Eric H. Nguyen. Joshua Padilla. Helen Nguyen. Zaid Perek. Nikki Nguyen. Hirsch Patel. <laughs> Stephanie Obialo. Jacqueline Fan. <laughs> Luisa Ortega. Sandeep Rai. Manjari Pagalavin. Raymond Rendon. Nahil Patel. Cameron Safapur. Anthony Pham. Marli Sai. Preston Fan. Jeevan Sundu. Evan Reeves. Ty Sailors. Jonathan Rappel. Andrea Endoka. Joshua Sagisi. Kristen Ortega. Vamsi Sanagala. Matthew Schuler. Isaac Santa Anna. Fan Sane.
Ryan Schroeder. Trinity Shaw. Julia Scott. Zahir Siddiqui. Asna Shah. Rebecca Simpson. Kirill Shellig. Jagan Singh. Amin Preet Sidhu. Hannah Skenzel Giroux. Karam Preet Singh Sandhu. Fatima Suleiman. Austin Situ. Corey Sutton. Bara Suman. Vasaliki Tasuli Draku. Rajiv Supra. Kevin Tai. Dean Tar. Ching Shen So. Shreya Tegumala. Simran Upal. Hong Tran. Terilyn Beret. Shivani Venkatesh. Jesse Warren. Jeffrey Wang. Audrey Wu. Robert Wedge. Cameron Yen. William Woodward. Griselda Zavaleta. Sehan Zhu. Please join me in recognizing the osteopathic medical students from the class of 2024. Congratulations. And you may be seated. We will now present the white coats to the class of 2025. Our newest medical students. Will the osteopathic medicine 2025 students please make your way to the stage. Doctors David Skyba, Bradley Havens, Matthew Martin, Darlena Manthe, Michael Oleg, Kimberly Congdon, Amy Stone, Terry Els, 
Aurelio Lorico, and Eric Toder will assist with the coding process. Pranav Adavi. Tammy Afif. Sharif Afifi. Eric Agayan. Anika Ahmed. Hina Arshad. Felix Alexi. Julianne Aviles. Maria Patricia Ascano. Eric Bagdasarian. Cindy Bach. Alexandria Bates. Mackenzie Bass. Mikel Berea. Jeffrey Bednar. Bailey Blackburn. Rohit Bilakanti. Bradley Bowman. Carter Bohaboy. Jennifer Bowie. Julian Bricks. Riley Cannon. Megan Buzzes. Nicole Cardwell. Marcos Caprile. Priam Chagan Lal. Rianda Carradine. Jiahui Chen. Grace Chidani. Asad Chowdhury. Vivian Chi. Matthew Chu. Timothy Chu. Eunice Chung. <laughs> Roberto Chuapoco. Peter Cohn. Luke Samino. Danya Corrales. Tyler Kalunga. Gabriel Cruz. Dallin Cragen. Adam Abibi Delellen. Akshay Dalat. Amit Dillon. Manraj Dillon. 
Evan Dunn. Andrew Dowie. Yakov Fakiro. Laura Duzet. Dominic Fiore. Karina Beatrice Fama. Brayden Gamble. Nicholas Fortna. Karan Gidwani. Hussein Gosham. McKenna Griffin. George Gillis. Meltem Gurus. Kaylin Gruber. Ram Deepak Hari. Bashar Hashem. Spencer Hayes. Claire Hartwell. Mitchell Hester. Thomas Herbert. Seth Horvath. Brogan Hill. Timothy Huang. Vic Shea. Isabel Ermac. Jin Huang. Vidul Jain. Carol Isaac. L. Johnson. Madison Johnson. Varun Collendoer. Daniel Jones. Daniela Carly. Alicia Kane. Jake Kawasaki. Ramneet Kaur. Grace Kim. Narek Kashishan. Hannah Neefley. Spencer Klatt. Joan Chronic. Nicholas Kramer. Peter Lee. Connie Quoke. Stacy Lee. Tyler Leach. Melody Lee. Patricia Lee. Isaac Lee. Dylan Lee. Emily Lederman. Woo! 
Melanie Lee. Wei Ju Lin. Hu Ling Lee. Kelsey Little. Ryan Linford. Jonathan Lowe. Belinda Lou. Peggy Lou. Charlene Lou. Dominic Mai. Brandon Lee. Nicolette McNair. Sebastian Mace Manahan. Guadalupe Mercado. Andre McNary. Annalise Michelin. Spencer Messina. Sonia Moya. Rishi Nanda. Hike Merzoyan. Kevin Nguyen. Catherine Nagy. Devin Knox Salgado. Ada Ng. Nick Nguyen. Jessica Nguyen. Emily Oberlees. Quinn Danwin. Damian Ortega. Joe Ogihara. Megana Pandit. Judy Pan. Haley Parrish. Elise Pariso. Matthew Pirro. Akash Patel. And Aruda Ponger Laker. Rachel Plaus. Saida Rob. George Chow. Kimberly Reed. Serena Raman. Jane Ryu. Deli Reyes. Nancy Salazar Velasco. Alex Ahagian. Daniel Sarkeesian. Brett Salisbury. Michael Segura. 
Matthew Schneider. Seattle Shakur. Erica Sembrano. John H. Shin. Keegan Shi. Amir Sadiqi. Miwa Shiobara. Nico Singer. Gurkirat Sidhu. Andrew Sorensen. Hyanji Song. Luke Spire. Rafael Soriano. Brandon Steer. Ramaditya Srini Vasamurthy. Megan Swede. Matthew Sung. Jason Ta. Derek Austin C. Carter Taysom. Armand Tamazian. Tu Tran. Rachel Tovar. Edward Trong. Twi Nun Tran. Samuel David Valientes. Elaine Patricia Tupas. Danu Viesna. Sadvik Vasaretti. Trevor Ward. Kwa Vu. Haley Wingender. Chandler Williams. Alex Wong. Trucilla Wong. Kevin Yang. Jordan Wood. Kimberly Zelke. Christy Yo. Please join me in recognizing the osteopathic medical students from the class of 2025.
And all right, keep going. <laughs> Come on. There we go. The energy is here. <laughs> All right, this is good. All right. Um, I'd like to thank again the faculty who was honoring you students and us by coding you in a round of applause for them, please. And I also would like to thank the announcers. I think they did a phenomenal job. I cannot tell you, I've been in places where the names were anything different than what it was, but so thank you, appreciate it. Since you are standing of the 2025 with the class of 2024, please rise as well. No, no, no. All right, not sitting yet because we need to go to the oath. I think you all have the oath in the booklet. And um, please recite after us. I invite any doctor of osteopathic medicine or, to stand and join us in reciting the oath. And it is inserted in your program. Now, usually at this juncture, when I say repeat after me, we start off rough. So let's see how well we can do it. I will read it. No, we read it together. How's that? So we, we don't have to wait twice. OK, here we go. Let's start. One, two, three. I hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession. I'm, see, I knew it's always going to go like this. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I'm going to read it, and you repeat after me. How's that? On we go, right? It never fails. OK. <laughs> I was being told it's so much nicer if you read along with me. All right, so let's get into the rhythm, guys, okay? Okay, let's start. You read with me, all right? I hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession I'm about to enter. I will be mindful always of my great responsibility to preserve the health and the life of my patients, to retain their confidence and respect both as a physician and a friend who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity to perform faithfully my professional duties to employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment and with my skill and ability keeping in mind always nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. I will ever be vigilant in aiding in the general welfare of the community, sustaining its laws and institutions, not engaging in those practices which will in any way bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. I will give no drugs for deadly purposes to any person, though it may be asked of me. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues in a spirit of progressive cooperation and never by word or by act cast imputations upon them or their rightful practices. I will look with respect and esteem upon all those who have taught me my art. To my college, I will be loyal and strive always for its best interests and for the interests of the students who will come after me. I will be ever alert to further the application of basic biologic truths to the healing arts and to develop the principles of osteopathy which were first enunciated by Andrew Taylor Still. In the presence of this gathering, I bind myself to my oath. Thank you.
Please be seated. Now, Dr. Philip Tompkins, Dean of Students, will offer today's closing remarks. What an amazing ceremony it has been. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to begin by extending a moment of gratitude to our guests of our new White Coat recipients. Thank you to the parents, siblings, partners, spouses, children, and other family and friends. Today is a day to revel and celebrate your students' successes and your involvement, and in many instances, the sacrifices you've made in helping your student reach this important milestone. Students, two messages. First, I'm proud of you. And whether you're a first or second year, the work is just beginning. I know for all of you, you are moving towards fulfilling a life purpose. I appreciate the passion and commitment that each of you have put forth in order to arrive at this point in time. For this noble effort, I congratulate you. As I hope you have learned and will remember, being a part of society's healthcare community comes with many privileges, but also many responsibilities. It has been said, to those much is given, much is expected. I would like to offer to you that the first responsibility you have is to take advantage of this opportunity. Learn everything you can from the profession you've chosen. Drink deeply from the materials, lectures, labs, and clinical opportunities that are available to you. Continue being fully invested in the Toro community by forming study groups, participating in guest lectures, attending activities, and joining student organizations. Like the classes before you, you are the energy and life of the Toro community. The intentions, attitude, and presence you bring to your education are the ethos of our university. I would like to call you to action. Find ways to work together, interdependently striving to push each other forward. Finally, each day, try to think of one reason why it is a privilege to be here. You distinguish yourselves among your peers and your hard work has been rewarded. Yes, you worked for it, you deserve it, and you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Remember this every time you look at or put on the prestigious white coat as you continue your journey at Toro and beyond. As we conclude, we ask that members of the audience remain seated until the platform party, faculty, and student have completed the recessional. Please remain in your seats so others can see their loved ones as they walk by. The students will come back into the room to meet their families and friends following the recessional. Shelley Berkeley, Chief Executive Officer and Senior Provost of Toro Western Division will lead the recessional. Let the recessional begin.
Let's celebrate. 